Good morning, this is Joy from Enjoy Fitness 43 and today we're going to do a chair workout and your equipment will need to be a band. So I'm going to use a band with a handle but you can use a TheraBand without handles. Um, either one is fine. We'll be seated most of the time during the workout. Um, there'll be a one set at the very end where we'll be doing um, sit to standing squats and pistol squats, <clears throat> but the rest we're going to be seated. Um, so make sure that you have some water, um, a good sturdy chair, and preferably one without handles, <clears throat> armrests, so that you don't whack your elbows on it also, okay? And one that has a back to it. And if it's like mine and you have, mine is curved in the back, you might want to have a pillow handy um, to put back there to add support uh, when we, we lean back to do some of our ab um, exercises. So let's start with our warm up. So we're going to start with legs and we're just going to take our legs in and out <clears throat> and just warm up. So you want to sit um, naturally but with you know kind of a straight back you don't want to be hunched over like this so try to sit up tall in your chair as we warm up and throughout the rest of the exercises okay so let's extend our legs out in front and do leg extensions good Warming those up. So we're not going to use the timer for this exercise class. We're going to do, um, I'm going to count out the reps for us. Good. Okay, so let's take it over to the side. stretching, trying to reach. So this exercise class is good for beginners. Um, it's good for days where you just feel like doing something that's not super hard. Okay, rotate. Um, and it's really good for a recovery class. So say you worked out really hard the day before and you want to do something but you just don't want to pick up a set of weights. Your body is really tired, but you need to do something. So this is an excellent class to help with recovery. Okay, so open those legs up. We're gonna reach down and up. So perfect recovery workout too. <clears throat> and of course, depending on how uh, resistant your band is, it's still an excellent muscle building workout, even though we're in the chair for most of the workout. And just keep going, just trying to toe touch and have those arms back up. Good. Almost there. And all right. Okay, so now we're just going to go up and then elbows into the waistline or rib cage, reaching up over the head. Good. Nice. Good job. Keep going. Almost there. Push that out so I can see a little bit better. Okay, so now just straight up and down. up that 
chest now. So we're going to hold here and then press up, down, and up. We open up that chest and kind of squeeze those back muscles together when we come up. So we're warming up the chest and back. Last but not least, let's warm up the neck, okay? So down and then look up. Okay, and then we're gonna look side to side. time. Okay, we're going to shake it out. Perfect. So we'll move this off to the side and we're going to go ahead and grab our weights and we're going to start with arms. So we're going to start with the chest and back and we're going to bring our hands in. So with me, because I have short arms, I put my hands through the handles and I'm going to grab onto the um, handles and I'm going to punch. So we're going to punch 10 times. So punch just kind of across the body, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Perfect. Now we're going to go round and do a chest press and bring it back. Good. Four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Perfect. Let's punch again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ten and around one, two, three, four, five, sit up tall, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Let's punch one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And last set. One, two, three, should be feeling it. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine and ten. All right, great. So now we're going to take that and we're going to put it in front of us. So I'm going to hold on to both of the handles with one hand and I'm going to pull it back and we're going to do the bow and arrow, okay? So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Perfect. Then I'm going to go ahead and hold it, okay? And see if that was long. I'm going to hold it here and I'm going to pull down with this arm, okay? Go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, out we go again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Hold in this one at the top, pushing down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So shoulders and triceps. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then down again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
9, and 10. Okay, so we're going to switch sides now. So I changed it. I'm not holding on to the handle. I'm just going to bunch it up right here. Okay, here we go. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Take it, put it here, and pull down. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Perfect. Take it back. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And here we go. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay, one more set. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and then back down. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. Perfect. Alrighty, so now we're going to take the band and you're going to put it under your feet. Make sure your feet are a little bit wider than shoulder width apart, or you might have to pull up on your band a little bit more. We're going to start with bicep curls, okay? So we're going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And 10, then we're gonna cross the band in front of the legs. We're gonna lean over a little bit, okay? And we're gonna pull them back. One to the back. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Perfect, okay, now switch them back out. Bring those legs in just a little bit and bicep curls again. One, two, good. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, one more, ten. Cross them over, lean over, and pull back. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Great. One more set. Bring it in. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Cross it over, the legs in front, lean over, one, two, three, good, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Love it. Okay, perfect. So we're going to put this to the side and we're going to go ahead and take a little drink right now. And we're going to work abs next. So we're not going to use the band for this one. We're just going to use ourselves. Alrighty? So we're going to come up and we're going to do elbow to knee. So kind of like a bicycle. But um, whenever we're in a chair, I always believe in keeping one foot on the floor. Um, because it helps with our lower back. So before we start, I'm going to get my pillow and have that handy right behind me for some of our for our other sets, okay? So hands up and we're just gonna touch. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, now we're gonna sit up nice and tall and you're gonna reach towards the floor. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 
seven, eight, nine, and ten. Excellent. Let's bring it up again. Nice and tall. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Sitting up nice and tall and touch. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Okay, last set of these. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Side bends. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. So whenever we do two exercises together like this, it's called a superset. So just so you know, that's what we're doing supersets. Okay, so we're going to do row the boat and alternating knee to chest. Alrighty, so we're going to do row the boat. So row the boat. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And now we're going to do knee to chest. So I'm going to hold on to the sides and I'm going to lean back. So that's why I have my pillow here. Okay. So my tummy gets tight. Okay. And I'm going to bring knee to chest. One, two, three, four, five. Keep my chin up a little bit. Six. Don't look down. Seven, eight, nine, and ten. Perfect. Sitting up nice and tall again. Get those feet flat on the floor. One, two, <clears throat> three, four, five. Really dig it in there. Six, seven. We're going against the water. Eight, nine, and ten. Perfect. Leaning back. One, Two, I'm just tapping my toe. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, good, nine, and ten. Perfect. Up we go. Row the boat. Two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, and ten. Perfect. Okay. And last time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Terrific. Okay, come back up, shake that out. Okay, so our last two are going to be a good morning and a torso rotation. So sometimes we use a weight with a good morning. You can use a stick. Um, we're just going to use our fingertips and our elbows. So we're going to put the fingertips behind the ears. Push your elbows back. So I don't want them up here in front of you. We're going to sit solid in the chair. Feet a little bit wider than shoulder width apart. And we're going to tip forward. Come down and then come up. Okay, we're gonna do that 10 times. So this is two, three. So we're getting the lower back now. Four and five. Not too fast. Six. 
seven, eight, nine. On another day, we'll like put a weight back here. And then on 10, all right, and keeping the fingers here, we're gonna rotate. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Perfect, okay, let's go back down. One. And two, and three, and four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, and ten. Okay, let's do torso rotations. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And last set. Here we go. One. Two. So try not to tuck your chin in. Three. Four. So when you're coming up, you have to press through your heels. Eight. Nine. If you weren't thinking about it, so now you can. And last one, ten. Because you're going to feel it in your legs, too. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Perfect. Okay, arms down, shake them out. Time for a drink of water. Okay, our last group of exercises are going to be legs, and we're going to use the band for that. And we're going to start with. Um, a clamp. So you take the band, put it on top of your legs, take them underneath, wrap them around your legs, okay? And then hold the handles on top. Feet are together. Sit up nice and tall, roll the shoulders back. So it's real important to stay sitting up straight. Don't find yourself hunkering over. I'm going to say, watch posture, okay? because it's important to sit up straight with this because it's gonna get in your glutes and in your lower back with this one too. Um, we're working the outside of the leg, um, but it's gonna get your tush too, okay? So we're gonna uh, try to sit up nice and straight with this. Okay, so we're gonna hold up nice and tall and we're gonna go out. We're just gonna bring our knees out. Ready, here we go. One, two, three, four. You roll out on the outside of your feet. Seven, eight, nine, and ten. Nice, good. Okay, now we're gonna hold up our handles and we're gonna take a step out with that right foot and then the left. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine, good, one more, 10. Okay, feet together, okay. Hold it on, sit up nice and tall. One, two, 
three, clamshell, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Pull them up, open those legs back up. One, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Okay, one more set and hold them out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, up we go and out. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Perfect. All right, so that's our first set. Okay, our next set, we're going to go ahead and we're going to take it under the foot. Now, I'm going to make sure my water is not in my way. And you're gonna hold it underneath and you can hold the band closer if you want to. I'm gonna lean back in my chair on my pillow again. I'm gonna bring the knee in and out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now we're gonna rotate out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Get that inside thigh there. Again, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Take it out. One, two, as far as you can go, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Okay, in and out, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and Ten. Last time to the side. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Perfect. Alrighty, so let's trade to the other side. Adjust my pillow and in and out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. In and out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Out we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and back in. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten, and last time out. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, 
eight, nine, and 10. Perfect. All righty, so we're gonna go ahead and take the band and drop it to the side. And we're gonna do our last two exercises. So we're going to do um, stand up, sit down squats. I'm gonna move my pillow back. And we're going to do pistol squats. So those are always fun. So when you're doing a stand up, sit down squat, um, you have to make sure you can stand up and sit down. Um, you don't have to go all the way back down into the chair. You can boop your hiney or get down as low as you can and come back up if you want to. And you can, what we always say is that you put your stronger foot in the back and then your weaker foot out front because you're going to put your pressure in this stronger foot closer to you and you're going to stand up and then sit back down, okay? Um, if you need to, otherwise your feet are going to be parallel to, to each other already. So um, try it once before we start and see what you're going to need to do in order to do a squat. The lower you go, the more your legs and your behind and your outside and inside th thighs get out of it. So if you can come all the way down and touch the chair again, great. Because more than likely, then your knees will be in line with your hips when you come down. So that's kind of where we want to be with the squat. So we're gonna do 10 of those. My feet are gonna be just a little bit wider than my shoulders. And I'm gonna use my arms to help myself get up. Okay, are we ready? We're gonna do 10. So 10, nine, eight, I'm squeezing my buns. Six, wait, so seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Perfect. Okay, so now we're gonna do pistol squats. So that means we're gonna be on one leg. You can put a foot out front. So we did pistol squats the other day with our foot behind us. We're gonna do it with our foot in front of us. And we're gonna sit down and we're we'll come back up. We're gonna do five on each leg, and then we're gonna come back and do standing, uh, the sit down, stand up squats. Are you ready? Here we go. One, woo, two, they're not easy. Three, four, one more, five. Okay, to the other leg. Here we go. One, two, three, four, and five. So when you do that, you also find out where your imbalances are. Are you weaker in your right leg or your left leg? So you find that out. And it's obviously this leg. Okay, here we go. So up and down with both legs. Two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, one more, and ten. Alrighty, back to the pistol squats, leg out front. If you need to, you just tap that heel on the floor to help you up. Foot solid on the ground, here we go. One, two, three, that hip was working out. Four, one more, five, good. Okay, switching sides. One, two, three, four, and five. Alrighty, so last time, and up we go. One, two, three, all of a sudden these are easy, right? Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, one more, ten. Nice. Okay. Pistol squats and up. One, two, that was a thud. Three, I'm starting to warm up on these. Four, Five, okay, switch inside, and one, two, three.
three, I need something to help me balance. Four and five, perfect. Okay, shake that out. Okay, that's wonderful. So go ahead and get yourself a drink of water. And we're going to do our finisher. So I'm gonna move my chair out of the way. And I'm gonna get my timer out. So we're gonna do a five minute finisher. And you're gonna to have to count for yourself. I'm gonna move my little pig rug too so it doesn't get in the way. Uh, we're going to do, oh, sorry. We're gonna go back and forth between two exercises. So, you know, we talked about the penguin the other day. So you're going to be on here, feet together, right? And you're gonna count out 20 penguins. So on one leg, one, two, three, okay, 20 penguins. So it's quick, you're gonna feel it in your hips. Then you're gonna bring your legs close together and you're gonna come up and do 10 rows, okay? Back to 20 penguins, 10 rows. And you're just gonna go back and forth like that and we're gonna do it for five minutes and you're gonna see how many rounds you can do in that five minutes. Alrighty, so penguins and rows. Okay, so oops, I'm gonna get myself on my timer. Ready, set, go. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. So don't make the penguin harder than it is. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Okay, penguin again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. 19, 20, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. A penguin was 3, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Penguin. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Okay, so this is 4, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Here we go. 5, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. Okay. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. Here we go. 6, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 20. Oh, 20. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 
ten. Ready? Seven. Seven, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. Eight, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, oh, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Okay, here we go again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, nine, two, three, four, get close. Okay. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. I'm going to count it wrong on that one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Four more seconds. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so if I counted wrong, time. Um, I made it up at that last. Okay, so nine rounds is what I got in. So whatever you got, write it down and let me know, you know. Jot it down in the comments. Let me know how many rounds you got. Alrighty, so let's do a quick drink of water. And then we're gonna do our, ooh, that's really, let's get those the top of the back. So I really felt that in the top of my back. We'll stretch that out. Feeling that, woo, feels good. Okay, fingertips behind the ears, roll the shoulders back. Okay, open the legs, tilt just a little. Keep those elbows back. Okay, let's take it to the other side. elbows. Okay, coming back up. Woo! Bring those arms down. Okay, bring them behind you. Push that chest up. Definitely feel it in my shoulders now. So hopefully you got a good workout with this band workout. I know I did. I was surprised at how well I did with this one. Um, feels good. And if you did the walking workout yesterday, um, I carried five pounds in each hand yesterday and did that walking workout and there were more hills than I expected. Couldn't remember how many hills there were on that until we got out there and I went, ooh, that's a lot more hills than I thought. And I feel it today. So when you are change arms so when you're doing your workout be mindful of the weight that you're carrying because it makes a huge difference when you're walking um, so even if you went for a walk and maybe you have a backpack on or maybe you get a weighted vest and you wear that when you're walking it makes a huge difference my core is feeling it because of the um the workout that we did and I think next time I walk, I'm just going to wear my weighted vest, which is 10 pounds also. And um, we're going to do a, a leg workout with our walking workout. So that'll be in another couple weeks. But um, until then, we'll just keep um, plugging along with our exercises. So don't forget to tell me what you want. Um, if you want more seated, if you, I mean, I need to do another stretch class too. So, 
Um, that'll be coming up in a couple more workouts. I have another weighted workout that I'm going to do. So next week, maybe I'll do a, uh, another stretch workout for you also. Good. And up. Okay, so let's push the tush back and come down. So your hands are above your knees, never on your knees. You don't want to push back on your knees. And you're pushing your tush back though so you can feel it behind your legs. Okay, open and then take it to the side. So I know you're thinking, well, we didn't do that much with our legs. You did more than you think you did, especially because you're in a seated position. So that's a little bit more awkward for your body. So you tense up your core and your legs differently when you're in a seated position and you do a leg workout than when you're standing. So it's a different kind of workout for your body. So your body's going, ooh, this is different. So it reacts differently to the workout. So remember that. So it all makes a difference. Okay, toes out like a ballerina. Come down, stand up, and you know, bodies up. Okay, bring it back in. Okay, now bend the toes. Always bend the toes, right? You gotta work on that mobility. to stretch everything you can in this short time that we have. Stretch before you go to bed. It's going to help you sleep better, even if it's only five minutes. Okay, a couple more. Okay, coming back up. Big breath in. And then exhale again. In. Oh, a piece of equipment. One of the things I'd like to do is do a sliding workout. So if you're working out on carpet, um, and I was going to bring one in and show you, but I forgot. So I'll try to remember that next workout. Um, I, you know, you can buy the fancy uh, fitness slides that cost you an arm and a leg, um, or you can get the slides that you put underneath furniture, you know, it's like um, rubber on top or felt, and then underneath it's like hard plastic, and um, so that you can slide it, like put it under your couch and slide it on carpet. And you know, you get them so that they're big enough that you can put the toe, your toes on them. You know, you want them, you know, good four inches around if you can find them bigger that's even better um those are great for on carpet okay also if if you don't if you're not working out on carpet and say you're working out on a tile floor or a wood floor a washcloth does the same thing and then it doesn't mar up your floor when you are working out so keep that in mind and next time you're at you know dollar general or walmart or someplace like that pick up a little set of those or some cheap washcloths and um, have those ready for class because I'd like to do a workout where we do sliding to the side. So you could also wear, if you're on tile floor, you could also wear a thicker pair of socks um, too. And, and that works too, instead of using the, using the washcloth. Just make sure they're thick. You don't want a skinny, thin pair of socks. You want a decent pair of socks that you're gonna be able to slide on. Um, and that way they stay on your feet better. But think about that for a, a, an inexpensive set of equipment. Um, also, you can, on carpet, uh, you can use a paper plate, too. Those also work. Um, so you can try that, too. Paper plates also work. Um, all right, so that's it. This is Joy from Enjoy Fitness 43. Thank you for being with me today with our chair workout. Um, I will talk to you later. Um, enjoy your day. Um, let me know what you want. Subscribe. Tell your friends. We're just a bunch of ladies and maybe a few men working out together. Have a great day. I'll talk to you later. Bye.